to see you. We've got so many fun things to do today. Sergeant Lookout will help find a lost dog. And then we'll go jump with Jack in the gym shoes. We'll also see Chef Cuisine as she blends up some tasty drinks. Mm. And now it's time for my favorite thing, Blue Pizza! So come on, guys. Off your seat, on your feet. Make sure the floor is clear. Safety first, but an energy first. Blue Pizza time is here. You mean problem, not good, unhappy? You said it! Leah's dog is missing! Oh, 911! I've looked everywhere! Scamper's gone! Now, now, I'm sure she's just gone out for a run. We've got to find her! We'll find her, but this is one of those times where you have to stay strong and not get upset. Where did you last see her? In the backyard. I came back a bit later, and she dug a hole under the fence. Ah, the classic escape route. What does her bark sound like? Yep, 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 yep. That's pretty close. Okay, now we know what to listen for. I brought one of her favorite toys. In case she comes by. Smart thinking. You must take really good care of Scamper. I love her. And it's clear you know pets need more than just love. Yes, they need five main things. One, they need a home to live and sleep in. Two, they need food. Three, they need water. Four, they need to be brushed and clean. And five, they need exercise. I'm sure Scamper is getting her exercise. How do we find her? Leah lives close to the park, so you two look on the far side of the park, and I'll look along the street. Okay! I'll leave this here. She might come by. Remember to search safely, stay together, and do not go out of the park. Now, let's go and find that dog. Right, Leah? Right. Right, Bloopy? Ruff! <laughs> Wowie-ka-sowie! No matter what your size, get on your feet and loopy size! Hi there! We're so glad you're with us so we can all loopy size! The gang's here waiting for you! Spider. 
to find her. I have an idea. What is it? Scamper likes music, so why don't we sing a song? And maybe she'll hear it and come to us. That's worth a try. She does like music. Let's sing. Won't you come home now, Scamper? Precisely. Yes. Won't you come home now, Scamper? Are you ready to start? 
Let's think of some different shapes. Everybody likes pretzels, don't they? How about showing me what you think you can do with your body to make it in the shape of a pretzel? Let's look. Show me your pretzel. Your pretzel's down there. Oh, Whitney's got a good pretzel. Great one, Sonia. Look at all the different ways we can move our body into a pretzel. Do you have your body in the position of what you think a pretzel would look like? Super job. Baloopy's doing what he thinks a pretzel would look like. All right, let's stand up and try to make the shape of an uncooked piece of spaghetti. You like spaghetti? Let's try it. What does an uncooked piece of spaghetti look like? How, show us with your body. You can do it standing up or lying down. It doesn't matter. Loopy's doing it standing up. Look how tall and straight and stiff he's standing just like a piece of uncooked spaghetti. I see some great ones from Vincent and Max and Whitney and Sadia. Great job, come up. All right, let's try this. You know, when it, when it snows in the winter, sometimes we go outside and we build a snowman. So let's try to play like we can shape our bodies into a great, big, fat snowman. Show me your snowman. It can be a big snowman or a small snowman, whatever you think a snowman might look like. I think my snowman's going to be great big like this. Good job. Bloopy's got a great snowman. He's a good size to be a snowman, isn't he? Oh, I like that one. Okay, what would happen if we decided we were all little balls that we could take and roll around the floor? Everybody show me a shape of what they think a ball would be. Look how Max is tucked up very tight on the floor. I want to see your ball too. Tuck up real tight and show me what that looks like. Oh, great job. Okay, now who wants to think of a shape on their own? Any shape at all and show it to me. Whitney, and you don't even have to tell me what it is. You can just show it to me. Let's see. All right, you're like a table, aren't you? A walking table. Okay, do you want to show me one? Yeah. Go ahead, Vincent. Okay, but stay right over there, Vincent, so we can all see you. Good job. You know what? Bloopy has his hand up. Let's see what Bloopy's going to show me. And you be thinking over there, Sonia. Can we all imitate the shape that Bloopy's in? Look, he's got his legs apart, his arms out. What a great shape, Bloopy. It's almost like the snowman gets. Sonia's got a shape. All right, Sonia, what are you? Are you that piece of uncooked spaghetti again? It almost looks like a, a, a tomato. I think I'll take that too. Whitney, you have another one? Okay, a, a rabbit. That's good, and a rabbit that's staying right there in one place. So today's lesson was all about being able to use different shapes. Our body is amazing because we're able to take it and put it in lots of different positions, lots of different shapes, and show the way we're able to move our bodies into different positions. You guys did a great job today. I am so glad you're with us. I want to thank everybody for being with us today. And remember one thing, movement is magic that you can make. Stay tuned, Lookie's Buddies will be right back. Welcome back to Whoopieville, where every day's a fun day. Let's go back to the park and see if Sergeant Lookout solved the mystery of the other dog. We still don't know who this dog is. Luckily, I brought a spare collar and leash that I put on him. Can we pet the new doggy now? Can we? Can we? There are certain safety rules you must obey. I just did the first one. Yes, you did. Ask a grown-up for permission. Rule number two is never tease them. Number three is don't put your face close to their face. And number four is never approach their chewing on anything. Hey, what's this? It looks like his football. Oh, I knew that was a familiar face. This dog is owned by the football coach at the high school. His name is Bumble. The football coach's name is Fumble? No, Bloopy. The dog is named Fumble. Fumble, you have a funny name. <laughs> and since I know he's friendly, you may pet him now. But it looks like the coach forgot Fumble's name tag. And forgot to keep him home. It's time the coach recovered the Fumble. It's time for Fumble to go home. Won't you go home now, Bumble? Won't you go home? Scamper will see you soon. You had your fun taking a run. Now, Bumble, won't you please go home? Won't you go home now, Bumble? Won't you go home? Scamper will see you soon. You're a good friend. We'll see you again. So, Bumble, won't you please go home?
to find because we've got you to do it with. Here we go. Just to play just like me.